Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation, the biggest buyers of gold. Let's explore. <laughs> We all know it's not you and I that are the biggest buyers of gold. In fact, it's probably not even one single person. No, indeed. But even these five entities that we're going to talk about here in a moment pale in comparison to the amount of gold bought per year by individuals around the world. We know that per capita, there are some pretty big nations that accumulate gold, such as Turkey, China, and India. It is a part of their culture, the Middle East as well, although it takes itself in different forms, not much like what you see here, but what you see before your very eyes now is a representation of how gold is stored from these large entities. And we're talking about nations, nations, and what nations have been buying gold over the last five years specifically. It is a pretty eye-opening exercise to to uh, consider here, and actually, we're going to be reading an article here from NASDAQ, of all places, that talks about this, which nations have been buying gold. It's pretty amazing to uh, think about over the past 10 years and more, but largely, we're going to be focusing on the rate of gold being bought over the last five years, including the first quarter of 2022. The U.S., Germany, Italy, France, Russia, China, Switzerland, Japan, and India, and the Netherlands hold the highest gold reserves in tons. While there have been minor changes in positions over the years, the top 10 nations' rankings has remained pretty much the same since about 2009. The buying pattern by these nations and all others reflect the policy stance taken by the central banks based on macroeconomic factors, financial stability, and global environment. So we're going to take a look at these top five nations that made the most additions to their gold reserves over the last five years. And this also is up to date, up through the first quarter of this year in 2022. And it's no surprise that number one on the list is Russia. That's right. Russia has been among the top buyers of gold in the, in the last 10 years pushing its gold reserves from 882.96 tons at the end of 2011 to 2,301.64 tons at the end of 2021. That is pretty amazing. What a large expanse of gold that Russia has taken in over the last 10 years. In the past five years, Russia has added 683 0.31 tons of gold, out of which 474.81 tons was bought in 2017 and 2018. So overall, the country has added more than 1,900 tons of gold since 2005. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Russia's gold reserves constitute about one-fifth of its total reserves, and it's roughly equivalent to $140 billion dollars. So during the first quarter of 2022, there has been no fresh purchases or sale from its gold reserves. And we know what the LBMA has done to kind of help uh, uh, prevent them from adding or from selling their gold. Russia currently has the fifth highest gold holdings among nations globally. Amid the rise of demand for gold by households, the central bank announced its decision to buy gold from credit institutions at a negotiated price. It used to be a fixed price, but now it's a negotiated price. In fact, that fixed price was 5,000 rubles per gram of gold. Uh, but it's now to manage the demand and supply of gold more effectively. Indeed, and also maybe out of desperation, of course, we, of course we know, I talked about it on this channel, that um, they are working towards a gold standard. They're trying to get there. Largely out of desperation, I feel. But nonetheless, that is where things stand with uh, Russia and their gold holdings. And we all know why they're wanting to accumulate gold. Because they want to 
They knew what was coming because I think they had planned this attack for quite some time. And the second on the list is Turkey. And again, just like Russia, you've heard me talk about Turkey in the past and its amount of gold that they are adding here. But Turkey's central bank has added around 278.55 tons of gold reserves since 2017. During 2017, 18, and 19, Turkey was the second largest purchaser of gold and continued with its buying as the fourth highest buyer in 2020. The country's gold reserves at the end of 2021 stood at 394.2 tons, equivalent to 24.37% of its total reserves. Turkey has been making efforts to mobilize the under-the-pillow stock of gold into the financial system by providing incentives on depositing gold. At the end of 2021, the country ranked 13th in terms of its gold reserves. During the first quarter of 2022, Turkey added another 36.9 tons to its gold reserves, placing it at the 11th spot. So Turkey is among the biggest gold jewelry producers in the world. Indeed, they are. Number three should be no surprise, but in many cases, many people thought it should be number two. But this is, we're talking about central banks right now. India. India's gold reserves uh, levels were the ninth highest in the world. One of the biggest purchases of gold was in 2009 when the Reserve Bank of India purchased 200 metric tons of gold from the International Monetary Fund. So this is kind of the first uh, area where we're seeing who they're buying gold from. Many of these nations buy either from the IMF or other nations or from private gold mines. So this took its reserves um, to, the, in, to 537 tons. Um, in the last five years, India has continued to add gold to its reserves, uh, which have swelled its gold holdings from 557.77 tons at the end of 2016 to 754.1 tons at the end of 2021, with 77.45 tons bought alone in 2021. So during the first quarter of 2022, India added 6.31 tons, taking its total gold reserve holdings to 760.4 tons. Gold currently constitutes around 6.86% of its total reserves. Globally, India is among the largest importer and consumer of gold. It's a part of their culture. We know that a lot of it's, that is in jewelry for the dowries and a part of their wedding ceremonies and the like. Uh, during 2021, uh, India imported 1,067 tons of gold, higher than 836.38 tons of imports in 2019. Yeah, pretty amazing indeed to see that for India. Indeed, and that's just it. Gold is something that is quite treasured uh, in nations like India, China, and Rand. So when you see the people buying it, you know, it's a good idea for the central bank to hold a bunch of it, too. And that's exactly what India is doing and why it's number three on the list. Number four is, surprisingly, Poland. In 2018, Poland's central bank, Nora Doi, uh, Bank Polski, made a strategic decision to significantly expand its gold reserves. The decision was supported by the fact that MBP's gold holdings were lower than implied by the overall size of its reserve portfolio when benchmarked against other countries, according to the NBP. In the last five years, Poland purchased 125.7 tons of gold, with 100.01 tons bought in 2019. After bringing gold to Poland, Adam uh, Glapinski, president of the NBP, said, in a symbolic sense, we can say that histor history has come full circle. And like in the times of the Second Polish Republic, once again there is gold in the vaults of the Bank of Issue. The purchase of gold pushed Poland's gold reserves from 102.96 tons at the end of 2016 to 230.84 tons at the end of December 2021. There is a possibility of further increasing gold reserves depending upon official reserve assets, dynamics, and market conditions. Indeed, and not only that, market conditions would also include 
possibly war game exercises that they're doing because they're under threat from uh, Russia's uh, incursion and invasion into Ukraine. Who knows who could be next? So more likely, a lot of their money is probably going more towards uh, preparing for what could come there. Number five on the list, surprisingly, one might think it should be up higher on the list, but it indeed is on the bottom of the list, but it's still very high. China, yes indeed. China holds the world's sixth highest gold reserves at 1,948.31 tons, which constitutes 3.3% of its official reserves. Globally, China has the highest reserves of gold at $3.42 trillion. Historically, China's gold buying has been in spurts. China purchased 95.8 tons of gold in 2019 and has maintained its, its reserves at the same level. The year 2009 and 2015 witnessed China adding 454.11 tons and 708.22 tons of gold, respectively. China's gold consumption, which is comprised of jewelry, bars, and coins, has been 971.55 tons, 994.35 tons, 849.13 tons, 612.65 tons, and 960.12 tons um, in 2017, 18, 19, 20, and 21. That's kind of hard to really kind of um, keep in your head without actually seeing a chart of it, but essentially, you know, that's... Um, I guess that's based off of the year for all of that stuff. China imported an estimated 818 tons of gold in 2021, almost back to pre-COVID levels. At the end of December 2021, China held $1.06 trillion in U.S. Treasury securities. Now, there are some who feel that China is not being totally open and honest with what they hold. But my guess is this is probably what has been verified and confirmed by the IMF. But many people feel they have a lot more gold than what they're saying. And they're holding back on purpose. Uh, that very well could be the case. Because we know that they want to dominate, for sure. In fact, it was just recently stated by our Secretary of State that indeed China is the biggest geopolitical risk, even more so than Russia right now. And in a sense, I can believe that. They're the second largest economy. Russia's economy is the, is the size of Italy's, and we've seen that their military um, is failing on a pretty dramatic level um, and, and certainly have fallen way short of Putin's expectations there. So rounding this up here, we have other nations that are honorable mentions. Uh, during 2017 through 2021, Kazakhstan added a total of 127.43 tons of gold in three uh, tranches. However, around 34.26 tons were sold in the first quarter of 2022, reducing the net buy to 93.17 tons during this period. Hungary's gold stock remained unchanged at 3.1 tons until 2018. Although Hungary added a total of 91.41 tons in the last five years with 62.98 tons added in 2021. Thailand added 90.2 tons of gold to its reserves in 2021, taking its total reserves of gold to 244.16 tons. Japan holds the eighth largest gold reserves in the world, which constitutes 3.9% of its total reserves. Its um, gold reserves have remained constant at 765.22 tons since that long. However, 2021 witnessed an addition of 80.76 of tons. And then Brazil added 62.29 tons of gold in 2021. So there you have it. And it's based off the World Gold Council reports and individual country bank figures. Now, I will mention two other nations, and there are nations that you're very well aware of. The first nation is the United States of America. The U.S. has not added a single ounce of gold on their official records of their 81,000 tons or 8,100 tons, I'm sorry, 8,100 tons, somewhere thereabouts. Um, they've not added a single ounce since then. So they're sorely lacking in adding any more of their gold. So these other nations are going to be catching up very, very soon. 
And then Canada, as the other nation that's worthy of mention, they sold off their gold. Um, in fact, some reports say that they have 77 ounces left. That number 77 I keep hearing, uh, and that is the official figure. Uh, but uh, so they've sold off all their gold. And so that to the point where most individuals um, for their central bank, there's some many individuals who hold, hold more gold than they have. Pretty remarkable. Um, and uh, but nonetheless, there it is. Fascinating indeed. Gold and what these nations are doing to add to it over the past five years. So let me know what your thoughts are. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.